It's all the, all the same cliche shit they said when we were kids, they now say as adults, right? They're like, oh, you know, you, you, know, you watch too much TV, it'll rot your mind, or you can't learn Bullshit. anything from television. But that's not true. Yeah, none of that's real. Lot from television. For instance, without television, I would have no idea that Steven Seagal is out of his fucking mind. Well, I've heard this before. I also didn't know that. <laughs> he has a show. It's not a scripted show. It follows around the real Steven Seagal, and every episode begins with him looking in the camera and saying, I don't know if you knew this or not, but for the last 20 years, I've been a cop. And you're like, <coughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I thought you'd been making shitty movies for the last 20 years. What are you talking about? He did play cop in movies. the show, he has the most unlikable quality in a human being, which is that he is an expert in everything. Literally, if a dog walks by, he's like, that's a Shih Tzu boxer hound mix right there. <laughs> and they're like, how do you know that? He's like, I've been working with dogs for like 35 years. <laughs> then a helicopter flies by. He's like, that's a HUB 106. And they're like, how do you know that? And he's like, I've been flying helicopters for like 47 years. Yeah. Then he does the thing, though, that everybody does who knows something about everything. Everybody has a friend, no matter what you're doing. They know the history of it all. They know every topic, every fucking fact. If you're eating dinner, they're like, you know, forks are from the Roman times. No, they're annoying ass the, people right there. They bark, and you're like, will you shut the fuck up and let me finish this, please? Yeah, fuck off, man. Seagal will do that, too, but you know he's making it up. He'll be like, you know, they also call that helicopter a skippy. And they're like, why? He goes, listen to it. Goes, skip, 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 skip. That's bullshit. You made that shit up. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. <laughs> it just blows my mind. It really does. That everybody in this room, everybody has this real world possibility in their lives. All of us. We could go tonight, if we wanted to, tonight. You could go to Louisiana. You could start a fight in a bar. And there is a real world possibility that Steven Seagal uh, uh, uh. will arrest you. <laughs> Isn't that insane to you? Uh, 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 uh. I've lost sleep over this shit. I mean, that's crazy. That's literally like if you uh, uh, uh. leave here and you roll through a stop sign and then Sylvester Stallone is like, hey, roll it down. And you're like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, well, I'll be way more excited to see uh, Stallone, though, Passion, yeah. than Steven Seagal's bitch ass. Will you say Adrian or something? No. No. Nah. It's nuts. You have to watch this show. He, he panders to every group according to race, knowing full well there's a camera crew following him around. He doesn't give a shit. If you're white, he's like, how's it going? All right. <laughs> and then the black people, he's like, what's up, cuz? And they're like, hey, what's up? I'm holding you down, so holla if you need something. Okay. Uh, uh, for real? And then to all Latino, Spanish-speaking people, he insists on speaking horrifically broken Spanish, even if they start the conversation in English. If they're like, hey, yeah, I called 911. Thank you for coming. The thing is, he's like, ah, right, hola. <laughs> Mucho queso. Like, I think my English is way better than your Spanish, man. Uh, no, that's yes. No. Uh, is that true? I'm watching the show. What's it called? People, he bows, regardless of where he meets them. If you're Asian and you cross Steven Seagal's path, he's like, eh. And you sit and they go, hey, I was born here, you dick. Like, you don't have to do that. And he's like, sorry, I've been doing martial arts for like 85 years. Uh, uh. I can see him doing that. That sounds like he Steven Seagal. He trains other cops in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I think that's infuriating for those cops. It's not like we're hanging out. We're like, hey, man, do you want to do like a couple shots and then go down the street? Uh, Steven Seagal is teaching people how to throw punches. And we're like, okay. <laughs> no. It's you're a cop and you show up at work and they're like, we're going to go over hand-to-hand -hand combat today so you can protect yourself if you're in a really dangerous situation. You're like, oh, cool. Who'd you bring in to teach us? Like some Navy SEALs or Green Berets? And they go, uh, no. Uh, we brought in Steven Seagal. Fuck yeah, though, bro. You want to watch Hard to Kill, though? Speak or something? Mm -mm. Okay, I'll pass because that's ridiculous. Have you ever watched Motherfucking Under Siege? 
Come on. Like if you were like at NASA and they're like, all right, future astronauts, uh, we're going to go over space exploration. And to get us started, why don't you welcome uh, Captain Kirk? Come on out, man. <laughs> and you're like, is he qualified to do this? And they're like, oh, you've seen him do all that shit. Yeah, he knows what he's talking about, man. He's been up there. He's been up there in space for real. He's like the guy. They show him teaching people how to fight. It's horrible. He's bloated now. He doesn't have the same range of motion. He's like, everybody line up. If somebody if somebody throws a punch, you can you can block it like that. Oh, come on, then, no way. And then you can kick him in the throat like that. <laughs> you can kick a child in the throat right now. <laughs> yeah. People throw it down there. I like Vardy cheese the most. What's your favorite? Oh. That's too bad for Steven, because I remember at one time in life when Steven Seagal was the motherfucking man. I mean, he was kicking everybody's ass. Did you see Mark for Death? I mean, if you look at it now, it's probably not a good movie, because he just kicked a whole bunch of black people's ass throughout that whole motherfucking movie. I mean, he was just beating the shit out of every dude with dreads in that movie. <laughs> but I mean, it was tight, though, back then. I mean, now, I don't know. And then the Under the Seas, bro, Under the Seas, come on, that movie was the shit. I don't give a fuck what none of you guys think. Under the Seas was the shit. What other movies? He had some good ones, man. Then he started going off path a little bit. But, you know, early Steve was like, oh, yeah, yeah, he was that guy. He was that guy. And let's not forget, he is a true uh, master in uh, Aikido, right? Or is it Judo? I think it's Aikido. You know, he's like a, uh, I mean, that's that's known. Right? He's on paper. He's a grandmaster. That's the real life. I mean, he might be a, a conceited jerk. But let's not, let's not forget, at one point in time, he was under siege on that ship. Shit out of Tommy Lee Jones. Remember that? Check it out. Subscribe.